All right, I think we're on. Everybody's having a good afternoon. Um, I'm having a beautiful day here. And yeah, lots bubbles up from the time that we spend together in the morning till today. There's a lot of creativity that's taking place and um, hoping to, to share more and create more here. Um, and yeah, just investigating all the different nuances of life in quarantine. Most of us are in this uh, phase of our life at this moment. So um, I am so happy to have yoga as a practice and a foundation that I can uh, launch off of in the sense of, um, for me, my practice has always been a place of refuge, literally. Um, and it seems that no matter what stage of my life I've been, um, I started practicing yoga at around 18, um, not extremely consistently at first. It wasn't until about 22 um, that I developed, I began developing more of a regular practice. I really understood the, the um, how to do that. I had, um, but all of that to say, I um, every phase of my life seems to be met um, with me leaning into yoga and meditation and these practices um, like an umbilical cord almost. It's like these are the things that keep me going. This is also where I find a lot of inspiration. Um, I also find that I feel, not just that I feel better in my body and my mind, but um, I really get to know who I am more and more each day within the practice. And a lot of a lot of what yoga is, is really truly an embodiment of letting go. And in our culture, we want to accumulate, we want to go, 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 and have, 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 get, 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 get. And what's really interesting is that, the, that although this can show up as well in our yoga practice, that like, oh, I want to you know, get as many poses and get them all perfectly, you know, we can still accumulate, even in the yogic sense, even knowledge, we can accumulate and accumulate, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's filling us and feeding us. Um, but when we start living it, when it crosses that bridge of knowledge and wisdom, or there's something that takes place between an asana flow and meditation, let's say, we're in one consistent flow with the breath and the movement and a place where the mental interaction is very minimal. Um, it's so potent when that happens and it carries you, it can carry you even for many days of experience, but with regular practice, with discipline, in that regularity, making it a part of your day. Almost, I'm going to say, in in a lot of ways, my day is shaped around my yoga practice. So it's not just something all that I fit in. My whole day is shaped around it. And so just to give you guys a framework to work with, that's how important it is for me. Um, yoga and meditation take precedence over many things. And so um, because of how much I, it has supported me throughout my life and has been there. Almost like this constant companion when I forget, because we forget a lot as humans. The practices help me to remember who I am, who this, who this is inside, the soul, the spirit that sure is within a body or is in this temporary experience, but is also connected to things the universe, every single piece of it as well, on some level. And that is such a, and, and for me it's a relief, it's like wow I can fall into this support and it's it's something that I have, I can participate in um, daily. And over time, and it's not, you know, perfect, but that's why it's a practice, that's why 
um, where it's being developed. That's why we come back every single time and we try to remember. Um, we, we try to remember and um, we take refuge in this, um, the home, so in the heart, the home within the heart, which is really the soul. And we take refuge in this spot rather than allowing any other conditional aspect of our life to take hold. So, um, yeah, I didn't plan on saying all that, but I just want to, I like to get on here and let you guys um, get to know me as well. So, like yesterday, we're going to start in child's pose. And um, just make your way to your mat if you're not there already. <clears throat> Come on to the knees, and the toes can be touching if you'd like them to touch. And then the knees are displayed just a little bit wider than the, than the hips, and then sometimes some people will even bring them out a little bit more. I'm a little bit more, just slightly wider than the hips. And then bring your body forward. The heart is guiding the process. And if you can, reach your forehead, see if your forehead can reach, if it can, and if you have a pillow handy, sometimes it's nice to get a couple supportive pillows underneath. And you can just tune in, begin the process of inhaling and exhaling here, closing the eyes, child's poses this great return. It's this wonderful return to the present moment, the, a wonderful return to innocence. It's a reminder to take care, to treat yourself as you would want to treat a child. And if we all remember being children, we, we really like being treated kindly, right? So we like being treated with niceness and with pleasantness and with happiness because as a child we also could get, you know, pulled around by our emotions and so we need to remember that child innocence but bring our, you know, some, for some of us many years into the picture and bring in that, that wisdom and experience and offer that support to the child within your own heart. And this is something that is extremely nourishing to do on a daily basis. Just beginning in child, settling in, settling into the breath. Tapping into the heart, seeing what's really there, being honest to yourself, being honest to yourself about where you're at, whatever feeling and sensation arises allowing for that to be there treating that with kindness as well even if you don't want it to be there still invite it in because maybe just with that invitation alone allows for the resolution of whatever sensation um, that is so taking these first moments to tune into the heart tune into an intention or creating a prayer, making a prayer an offering. What is it that you'd like to either bring into your life for this practice or for your day or for your life or maybe for this month during quarantine or um, whatever that is for you. You can also maybe just one word, you know, one word of gratitude or um, I also sometimes pray for the planet. It's just, it's really, this is your time to just bring that focus in, pay attention to it, so that way we're planting seeds um, for our, yes, for our future, but also for our, our self to embody qualities that we want to have running in our life, right? Instead of fear, love instead of hate compassion 
So all of these, just bringing those qualities in, and you can do that through intention. And then inhaling, coming up to a tabletop position. Hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. And you should just be getting a really gentle cat cow. So as your belly drops and your chin comes up, that's an inhale. And then exhaling, rounding the back, lifting up through the center of the spine, dropping the head. And then exhale, and then inhaling into cow, dropping the belly, lifting the chin. Exhaling, rounding the back, arching the spine. Inhaling cow, exhaling cat. Inhaling and exhaling as you go at a pace that you like for your body that feels good, that feels nourishing. Once again, this is a practice that is for you and what it is that your body needs in this moment. And as we are doing these just basic warm-ups, you can begin the ujjayi breath, which is just a deepening of your inhale and your exhale. And it sounds like almost like the ocean waves. And it also is a constriction of the throat. And it's like you're brushing the breath against the back of the throat. So you should be able to hear it on the inhale and the exhale. And then Inhaling into a flat back, exhaling, tucking the toes and lifting up into a downward facing dog. Taking a breath here, getting settled, and then begin bending one knee, straightening the other leg, and alternating. Bending one knee, alternating and straightening the other leg, and then back and forth, just in a nice rhythm opening up the, the back of the hamstrings. <clears throat> you can also lift up onto both tippy toes and then let the heels fall to the right and then lift up towards the center and just the heels lift off and fall to the left. You can do that a couple times and that's a very nice stretch through the side body and it even gets up into the armpit. So you can alternate between all of those. And then just lift the right heel off the ground, opening up the right hip, keeping the left leg straight, arms are still in the down dog position. And that left foot is just draped, or the right foot is just draped onto the left side. Take an inhale and exhale. And then inhale back to center and exhale, drop it down. And then lift the left heel up, opening up the left hip. Just opening, letting that left foot dangle on the side. Just breathing into the fullness of your lungs. And then inhaling, straightening the leg, and exhaling, bringing that down. And inhaling, coming to a plank, and holding here. So the hands are still under your shoulders. The feet are still about shoulder width apart. The heels are pushing back. And the shoulders are rolled into their sockets. The belly is tucked or you, should, you can like bring the belly up so you have a strong core. And then your gaze is just out in front of you. Just feel the fire here, taking an inhale and then exhale, slowly lower all the way to the ground. The tops of the feet meet the mat. And you can come into a mini, just a really mini cobra. I like to do the crabby cobra, just bringing the, the hands out wider than the mat. And then inhaling, lifting the chest. And then exhaling, dropping the left shoulder and left ear to the mat 
and then inhaling up and alternating. Exhaling, bringing the right ear and the right shoulder to the mat. Inhaling up and then dropping one shoulder and ear to the mat. Inhaling up and dropping the other. And then you can inhale in the cobra here. Or some might like to do an upward facing dog. And then exhale, tuck the toes, come into a down dog. So inhale, high tippy toes. And then exhale to plank and then lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, come into a down dog. And then inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, bend the knees, step forward in between the hands. Inhale, halfway up, the heart shines forward. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, raise the arms all the way up to the sky, meeting the hands in prayer, and then fold. And then exhale. And inhale, halfway up, heart shines forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step into plank and lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high tippy toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Step forward between the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, gather in all the light through the hands. Exhale, through the prayer, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to the plank and lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Just going to do one more of those. Inhale, high tippy toes. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, gather, bring the arms up to the sky. Exhale, dive. Inhale, flat back, halfway up. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank, and lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, coming into down dog. And stay here. Taking a couple breaths, and before we get moving, even though we're in this down dog, just like to clear the air, so to speak. So we're gonna take one round of OM right now in this down dog. So taking an inhale deep through the nose. Om. Inhaling deep, and then opening the mouth, ha, <sighs> just exhaling all of it out. Inhale, right heel to sky, and exhale, step it through. Now you can drop the left knee down, or keep it up. Inhaling the arms up to crescent, and it's okay to bend both knees here if you'd like as well. That helps to give our pelvis a little tilt, which is what we want. We want that tailbone really rooted. It's like going into the earth. And then see if you want bringing that um, left leg a little bit straighter after that. So bending the knee helps to engage also the core, tilt the pelvis, and then straighten the arms lift. Reaching up, settle in a little bit deeper. Take an inhale and exhale, hands come down. Inhale, twist right, right hand raises. And we're gonna take a few breaths here. So as we're breathing and twisting, you can twist the hand. You can also make really nice big circles. Inhaling, exhaling, just taking a nice full breath, opening up the shoulder. So inhale as you come up, and then exhale, plant your hand down. 
and then exhale. Inhale to plank, and then exhale, roll to the right hand, right edge of the right foot into side plank. You can lift the left arm overhead. So you can drop the knee here if you need stability. Just dropping that left knee. You can also just stay here. You can fly a leg. You can do whatever feels good to you in your body right now. You can reach with this left hand. So take an inhale, exhale, plant the hand and lower all the way down and then inhale to cobra and exhale, down dog. Take an inhale, high up on the tippy toes. <laughs> I messed up. Take an inhale, we're gonna go to the left side. Inhale, left leg up and then exhale. Step that left leg through. Take an inhale, arms come up. And remember, you can bend the knee, you can drop the knee here, or you can keep it straight. But first, micro bend that, that right knee and tilt the hips and then work that right leg straight. And then same thing as before, the shoulders are inside the sockets but the arms are lifted, the gaze is up. Take an inhale and then exhale, hands come down, framing the foot. Take an inhale, twist left, left arm raises and breathe. Making, you can make big circles, inhaling as you come up, exhaling as you come down, inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling, raising that arm up, then exhaling, planting the hand, stepping into plank, and then coming onto the edge of your right foot and right hand. Inhale into side plank. And then same as before, you can drop a knee, you can fly a leg, <laughs> fly a leg, you can just be straight, just a normal side plank, just remember to breathe. You can inhale here, exhale, plant the hand, and then lower down. Inhale, cobra, and then exhale, down dog. So we're gonna do that, same sequence, but one breath, one movement. Just mindfully moving, mindfully flowing, hearing the breath in the movement as one. And here we go, inhale, right heel to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, hands to earth. Inhale, twist right, right hand raises. Exhale, right hand to the earth. Inhale, plank. Exhale, come onto the right hand and right edge. Take an inhale, and then exhale. Drop that left hand and lower. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, down dog. All right, next side. Inhale, left heel to sky, and then exhale. Step it through. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, hands frame foot. Inhale, reach, twist, left. Exhale, bring the left hand down. Inhale to plank. Exhale to the left hand, left edge of the foot. Take an inhale, reach that right arm. Exhale, come to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful, everybody. All right, so let's take an inhale here, and then ah, open up the mouth, let it out. Okay, so let's do that same flow, so one breath, one movement. Inhale, right heel raises. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, hands frame right foot. Inhale, twist right. Exhale, right hand plants. Inhale, plank. Exhale, side plank. Inhale, arm reaches. Take an inhale, 
to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left side. Inhale, left heel to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, arms to the sky, crescent. Exhale, hands frame foot. Inhale, twist left, left arm raises. Exhale, left arm plants. Inhale to plank, exhale side plank. Inhale, reach the right hand up. Exhale, plank and lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful, everyone. So take an inhale, come to a plank, and we're just gonna do just five. You can drop the knees. If you really wanna challenge yourself, you can lift a foot and alternate lifting foot, feet. <laughs> so we're gonna do five push-ups. So we're gonna inhale, lower, exhale, press up. 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 And the last one, inhale, lower, exhale, press up. Come to a down dog. Take an inhale. Ah, let it out the mouth. And drop the knees. Just regroup for one second for a few breaths. Coming into child's pose. Taking some inhales here. Feeling again into that heart space. Seeing what's moved. <clears throat> and just recentering yourself. <clears throat> Taking some deep breaths, settling into deeper into this moment. And before we move on to our next wave, our next, our next rhythm and our next flow. So from child just Inhale to tabletop, and then exhale, come into a downward facing dog. Inhale, right heel to sky. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, arms come up to crescent, and then exhale, martial artist, left knee bends, right leg straight. And breathe here, get settled in. So the arms here, you can come up into having goddess arms. You can also <clears throat> wrap. So the way that you wrap is by wrapping the left arm around the left knee, and then the right arm circles around your back and connects. The fingers can touch here. Take an inhale and exhale. You can also just have the hands down. That's okay. Inhaling and exhaling and then swivel onto your feet and coming into a warrior two. <clears throat> so just checking your lines out here. Left foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Right heel is in line with the arch of the left foot. The tail is tucked and the arms are just gracefully raised. Get settled in here. Bend the, the right knee a little bit deeper. Breathing, feeling the power in your legs, feeling the strength coming up through the earth, through your body. Take an inhale, reverse warrior. And then exhale, side angle. Let, right forearm meets the right thigh. And then the left arm raises. You can raise it all the way up to the ear. You can also reach the right hand down by the ankle and then just fly that left arm, continuing to roll that shoulder open, the left shoulder opening. And this is another one. You can continue reaching all the way behind you with your left arm and then the right hand reaches underneath the right leg from a bind. Wherever you're at, just be there, breathe. And then inhale all the way up to reverse warrior. Exhale, 
side angle. Inhale, reverse. And then all in one motion, get ready to launch off of the left foot, pivoting, looking forward into warrior three. The right knee can bend a little bit, or you can keep it straight. The left toes are pointed down towards the earth. And just feel balanced here. Get your balance, get yourself steady. Pick a point to stare at and allow that to also help anchor you. Take an inhale here, fly the wings. And then exhale, hands come down, left foot to the back of the mat. Inhale, plank, exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra, exhale, down dog. And then going on to the left side. So inhale, left foot to the sky, exhale, step it through. Inhale, crescent, exhale, martial artist. Stay here, breathe, opening up that, that, the hip and the groin of both sides of the body. Hands can be planted on the mat. Hands can be in prayer, hands can be in goddess. You can also do a wrap or a bind here, reaching the right arm around and the left hand in back of you. Wherever you're at, just breathe. Inhaling deep, exhaling completely, and then inhaling, swiveling back forwards, and then raising the arms and bending the left leg into warrior two, and then exhale. Once again, check out the lines. Right foot is even or parallel with the back of the bat. The left heel is in line with the arch of the right foot. The tail is tucked, and the arms are just Gracefully poised. Bend that left knee a little bit more. Feel the power coming up through the legs. Feel your stability here. This is a really powerful position. So really feel that. Feel your strength. Trust yourself. Take an inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale. Reverse. Exhale, side angle, left forearm can meet the left thigh, right arm flies overhead, and as you bring this arm up, you twist just a little bit more. And same as before, you can plant the left hand down on the earth for a little bit more of a stretch. You can reach the right hand behind you, and the left leg, or the left arm underneath for a bind. Just taking an inhale and exhale here. And then inhale, reversing the warrior. And then exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. And then exhale, try all in one, one leap, one leap of faith to come into warrior three. Left knee can be bent for a little while until you find your stability. Then once you're there, just gently straighten it. Arms can fly out to the sides. The right toes are pointed towards the ground. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower the hands, step to the back of the mat. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale. Down dog. Whew. Good job, everybody. Doing really good. Right, so same, same thing. One breath, one movement. So this is a really beautiful flow to see if you can dance through it. Make it these every movement an offering. An offering to the divine, offering to the universe, offering to the earth. Just cultivating that, that wisdom from within with every breath. Feeling, feeling comfortable in your body as you do this. So just, there should be a level of ease, some beauty, and 
just that just that quality of even though we're working it's there's a softness through it all so inhaling right heel to the sky exhaling bringing stepping through inhale crescent exhale bending the left mid leg into martial artist inhaling coming into warrior two exhaling settling in inhaling reverse warrior exhale side angle inhaling reverse exhale side angle inhale reverse and then exhale all in one motion step big leap of faith into warrior three taking an inhale here exhale hands beneath the mat left foot to the back of the mat inhale plank exhale lower inhale cobra exhale down dog beautiful left side inhale left heel to the sky exhale step it through inhale crescent exhale martial artist inhale warrior two exhale settle in inhale reverse exhale side angle inhale reverse exhale side angle inhale reverse and then exhale all in one motion big leap of faith lifting off into warrior three take an inhale fly your wings and then exhale hands plant foot to the back of the mat inhale plank exhale lower inhale cobra exhale down dog beautiful everyone let's take a deep inhale and then ah, let it out the mouth inhale right heel to sky exhale step through inhale crescent exhale martial artist inhale warrior two exhale settle in inhale reverse exhale side angle inhale reverse exhale side angle inhale reverse and then exhale leaping into warrior three find your balance take an inhale and then exhale hands plant step to the back of the mat inhale plank exhale lower inhale up dog or cobra exhale down dog beautiful left side left heel raises exhale step it through inhale crescent exhale martial artist inhale warrior two settle in on an exhale inhale reverse exhale side angle inhale reverse exhale side angle inhale reverse and then exhale pivot and leap into warrior three to get set here take an inhale exhale hands meet the mat right foot to the back of the mat inhale plank exhale lower inhale cobra exhale down dog beautiful everyone ah, taking an inhale exhale let it out the mouth Whew. so amazing to be moving to circulate energy to let whatever that stuff is go let it go so that way you can move and be your most authentic self this is really what we're getting at to the core of it we're not messing around when we do this it's it's with bringing that that soul shine through in every moment take an inhale come into plank stay here i'm going to do five more push-ups so hands are firm you can drop the knees if you need to you can lift a leg if you want to challenge yourself or alternate so we're going to inhale down exhale push up inhale down 
exhale, push up. Inhale down, exhale, push up. Two more. Inhale down, exhale, push up. One more. Inhale down, exhale, push up. And then come into a downward facing dog. Beautiful, everyone. Take an inhale, reach that right foot up, and then exhale. Right knee to the right side of the mat for pigeon. Left leg is just straight behind if you need to. Take a glance back there. Make sure it's relatively straight. You don't want it too far out, and you don't want it too far in. Just straight back. I like to lift up, adjust the hips so they're relatively going, they're basically um, parallel to the front of the mat. You don't want the left hip to be dumping. However, if you want to take a less um, or a more um, what we would call a yin style, or um, restorative pose, you can dump all the way in. So it's almost like your legs are um, both in L's and you are leaning into the right side and your stomach actually will fold over the right knee. So that's an option too for, for pigeon. So choose your pigeon. For those of you that want to have a deeper stretch, the right um, uh, shin can be as the degree to which that can be bent or not bent is really, it can be in line or parallel to the front of the mat. I can't, I'm not actually that flexible, my hips are really tight, so it's going to be at a little bit more of an angle. And then, of course, there's the more supported yin style. So take your uh, pigeon. You can be on the forearms. And if you also want, you can come all the way down to the earth. The forehead can meet the ground. The heart can meet the ground. You can get really cozy here. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling into all of the tightness that's surrounding the head of the femur, that's surrounding the sit bone. All of these tissues that are bound really tight. We're bringing our breath, bringing, bringing our awareness into this little pocket here. And just as before, tuning into it, seeing what's there, not judging it, not pushing it away, not bringing it towards you. It's just more of a witness perspective, like what is here? Not, this, not moving towards a story either, not creating a story about how it got there, why it's there, all the stuff that I have to do to get rid of it, none of that. Just simply tuning into the breath, tuning into the tightness. Emotions rise, feeling them, feeling them to their to the the most complete that you could possibly feel. And through the exhale, it's like you are releasing them. You're releasing them in this transformative way. I find that this process of the yoga asana is this process of really getting to know all parts of myself, the, the nice shiny parts and also the darker parts. And if I can treat them equally with kindness, in yoga we have a word for this called ahimsa, and that means non-violence or non-harming. I like to put it on a different spin on it, that it is kindness and it's compassion. So treating all things that arise within me with this kindness and compassion, um, just as I right now would want to be met by anything and anyone. 
So inhale and coming, pushing yourself up with your hands. Exhale and tucking the left toes. And coming into the down dog, you can lift that right heel up, opening up the hip again. You can also do some circles with the knee, letting the knee lead, opening the hip. Just working out some of that tension. And then inhaling the legs straight behind and then exhaling, placing it down. And then left heel up and then exhale, bring the left knee to the left side of the mat. And the same options as there are before, you can take the more supported and yin style by coming placing all of your weight completely into the left hip and then folding over the left knee. You can square the hips, that's the word I was looking for before, I can remember it. Square the hips so that they're pointing forward and that left leg is straight back behind you, taking a glance just to make sure it's straight behind you. And then inhaling, lifting the heart up, setting everything up, and then exhaling, folding forward. You can be on the forearms. You can also bring the forehead to the earth. The arms are out in front. Sometimes I also like to put the, put the hands in prayer above the head here. Sometimes I like to bring the palms face up. Sometimes I like to place them palms face down. And once again, this is a different side and it's going to feel different. So feeling into all of those differences. Making peace with, with what is there. Just Bringing all of your awareness here, not, not creating story, dropping into, even though it might be a lot of intense sensation, seeing how much more softer you can get. See which areas of your body you're holding. Maybe there's tension in the jaw you can let go. And in doing that, it releases a little bit more tension in, in the hips. Maybe there's tension around the heart or the back of the heart and just allowing that space to melt with your inhale and exhale and seeing also with that release if you're able to sink a little bit deeper into this pigeon. Just feeling the stillness here, the softening, the unwinding. And then inhale, plant your hands, lift up. Exhale, tuck the right toe, yeah, the right toes. And then come to a, a down dog. You can lift that left heel up, make circles with the knee. You can also bring the left foot over to the right side, opening the hip. Just making a little bit of movement with that left side. And then inhaling, left foot back, and then exhaling, placing it down. And then inhaling, dropping to your knees, and then swinging the, the legs out in front of you. And today we're gonna do a nice forward stretch so the, the feet are together you can reach for the toes you can reach for the calves the knees wherever you're at try to maintain some integrity within the spine so not to collapse and round so your shoulders are out you want to keep the shoulders back Keep the heart forward and lifted. Keep the feet flexed. And then 
hang on, and then exhale, sink in a little deeper. And all to the degree that your body needs in this moment, not that you want it to go, but what it needs. And figuring out what that place is with kindness and, and compassion. Taking an inhale, deepening on an exhale, and then inhale, come up. Exhale, bring the feet together. So the knees are wide in this butterfly. Maybe giving a couple little bounces to the knees, opening up the hips, and then settling them down. Taking, a, taking an inhale. The heart is forward and exhale, ground onto the feet and then lean forward and same as before. Keep that integrity of the spine there. And inhaling and exhaling. You don't have to throw yourself into the full extent of any position. It's all about softening, letting your body open as it opens, not rushing the process, just allowing, allowing, allowing the opening. And maybe seeing with each exhale, if you can go a little deeper, at the same time, if that's not what your body needs in this moment, just remain in the spot that it needs. Taking a final inhale, exhale, going as deep as feels comfortable, and then inhale, come all the way up. <clears throat> and come onto your backs. So the feet can be raised all the way up. I'm just looking at my time, okay. The feet can come all the way up. You can sit and remain here if you like. You can also come into a shoulder stance with the elbows really dig into the earth and your hands come and support the low back. And then the feet are flying, can be pointed, and so we just get this really nice elongation. Tendency is that the, the chin comes towards the chest, just lift it off of the chest. And now you can breathe a lot better. Still digging, it's like your, your elbows are your anchors and you're really using your shoulders here too, in the sense that you're using the strength of the shoulders with the stability of the elbows. Keeping the feet up. This is great just to have the reverse of blood flow. Taking a final inhale and then just gently coming into plow. The feet will come behind you. You can stay here. You can touch the toes to the earth. The arms will come out in front. You can also just have the feet floating. This gives a nice stretch in the low back. And the same as before, make sure the chin is just a bit away from the chest so that way you can breathe better. Inhale, lift the legs up. And then exhale, bend the knees. And just ever so gently lower down. Plant the feet on the mat and the heels come towards the buttocks and then the hands interlace underneath you. And then roll the shoulders 
underneath and so it's like your your arms and your shoulders and all the way to the pinky edge of your hand is all pressing in to the mat and then with your thigh muscles you're using the four corners of your feet to lift the pelvis up for some people myself including included it's a tendency to kind of to grip the glutes you don't have to do that it's really the the power of the thighs so we're really lifting with your thighs and then the hips follow breathing here taking deep inhales and exhales and then inhale and coming up onto the tippy toes and exhale release the hands lower the hips unwind everything and then you're just going to windshield wiper the knees to either side so you can pair breath with this movement as well so inhaling to center exhaling dropping the knees and then it's really nice to bring the arms out into a t position here as well exhaling as you drop to one side inhaling as you lift to center and then exhale Inhaling to center, and then exhale, dropping the knees. Inhaling to center, dropping the knees. Then inhaling knees to center, and bring them up close. Wrap the arms around the shins. Bring your head in tight, tight, tight. Just give yourself a squeeze. Give your right knee a kiss. Give the left knee a kiss and just give yourself the biggest hug say i love you and i thank you take an inhale and then exhale come into shavasana so the hands are just by your sides palms face up and the feet are open just a little bit wider than the hips and we're relaxed. Just unwinding any last tensions of the body. Letting go completely. Allowing all sensations to bubble up and then just watch them dissipate as you sink more and more deeper and deeper into this relaxed aware space relaxing the whole body all the way from the tips of your fingers to the hips all the way through the belly the chest the front of the heart, the back of the heart, just fully relaxing. <coughs> Linda wants to come up. <clears throat> so staying here in Shavasana. Allowing yourself to be here as long as you need we've got about another minute so um, I'd like everybody to stay in Shavasana just relaxing really going deep here allowing yourself to be held by the earth feeling supported in every way in known and unknown ways Shavasana is a place of nourishment. It's where the nervous system can reset. It's where we can be our stillest, most possibly, that we have been all day long. Just 
just a final blessing for your life, for your loved ones, and for your journey for t through today, for the month, for the year, for your life. Thank you for being here. Thank you for practicing. And I hope you have uh, a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste. Blessings.